Well, you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Windows Insider program. Something went wrong. We aren't able to talk to our servers right now. So you can see here, I am trying to join the Windows Insider program. And what happens is I get this error code. So when I click on Windows Insider program here, you can see an error message here. This is the start of the problem. And when you click on the diagnostic and feedback here, it wants you to put on the here the optional diagnostic feedback. So you have to have this enabled to join the Windows Insider program. So I went ahead and clicked on this one here. And lo and behold, when I went back, it went back to this area. So I knew what the problem was here. I went uh, to my services and had a look there to see whether there was a service that was actually not running. You can see here it's all grayed out here. It won't let you join. So I'm going to show you some of the things I did to rectify this problem and resolve it because I've seen this problem come up quite a bit for people and I wanted to try to help people be able to join the Windows Insider program so they can upgrade to Windows 11. So let's go ahead and first go to the first place we're going to check is the services area here so we're going to go down here and type services and there's a bunch of services that you want to make sure that are running on your pc now these problems arise because people love to tamper with windows 10 and they start to turn services off and run scripts and things like that to turn off telemetry and this is when you're going to run into problems trying to get into the windows inside a program you're going to need to have these running so we're going to go up here and we're looking at the uh, startup type here. You can see there's a bunch of disabled stuff here. Now, some of the areas that you need to be concerned about is the uh, connected user experience and telemetry. This needs to be running on the PC. If it's not running, then you are not going to be able to uh, join the Windows Insider program. So you need to make sure that that is set, apply on OK, and make sure you start the... Um, process as well so let me go back in there and start uh, that service there so i forgot to start the service so i need to start this there we go and then we can click ok here so that service is now running so if you've got any other ones in here like a windows update or any of those things turned off you're going to need to make sure that you obviously turn those on and start those services otherwise you're going to run into problems trying to get into the windows insider program so just look down the list of the disable ones and enable some of the ones that are to do with the Windows Insider program, like updates and things. So now I've got that done, what I'm going to do here is going to quickly check to see whether that has resolved the issue. And when I go into here and go back into update and security here, and we're going to check the Windows Insider program, you can see here uh, we've got go to diagnostic and feedback. So I'm going to go to optional diagnostic data. You can now see that the improved inking and typing is now coming up, which means it is working. But this is where I started to run into other problems and that was to do with permissions. So what I wanted to do here is reset these permissions. Now you can open up the command prompt by typing CMD and run this as administrator here. Now there's a bunch of commands that you're going to need to run one at a time and I'll leave all these in the video description. And these are to reset the policies on the system. So if you've been messing around with some sort of program or scripts and you've reset all the policies here, this is what you need to do. You push enter and you'll see the operation has completed successfully. You need to run these one at a time. I'm not going to do them all in this video, but you need to go through here and run all of these one at a time and push enter to reset all of the policies on that computer. I'll leave the list in the video description you can create a batch file if you wish and run all of these in one fell swoop and i'm going to do that right now and reset all of these okay so they're now all reset so what i'm going to do next is open up command prompt again and we're going to reset all of the policies inside our group policy editor because this is where a lot of people make uh, policy changes inside the group policy editor for windows 10 pro so I'm going to reset all of these back and you can do that by putting these two commands in and I'll leave those in the video description as well so you can reset all of those. So they're now reset and what I'm going to do is uh, type in this command which is 
GP update space forward slash false. And this will uh, tell us that uh, all the changes have been made, completed successfully. Okay, so let's go back into settings here and we're going to go to the Windows Insider program. And this is where we started running into something went wrong. We are unable to talk to our servers right now. This is another problem leading up from what we had before. So we're getting somewhere, but now we've escalated to uh, something went wrong issue. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to resolve this and try to get back into the Windows Insider program. So what we're going to do here is go down to the search box here and we're going to type services in here. I'm going to go into the services area and open up the services window. Inside here, we're going to come down here, go to name and we're going to pull this down here until we find our service that we want to start. So you can see here it's called Windows Module uh, Installer. We need to go in here. And you can see it's set to manual. I'm going to put this to automatic and click start. You also want to make sure that you've registered an account with the Windows Insider program and make sure you've responded to their email and activated that as well. So next up, we're going to go to the group policy editor by typing GP edit in the search box here. And what we're going to do is go here, open up the group policy editor. And this is for Windows 10 Pro and above. I'll show you how to do it for Windows 10 Home. So go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, and then Windows Components. Open this one up here. And once we're inside here, we're going to come down. And we're going to go down to where it says Windows Update. On the right-hand side now, you can see Windows Updates for Business. We're going to click on this one here. So up the top, the little folder, go into here. And we should now see inside here, manage preview builds. So click on this one here. And we're going to double click and open this up. And we're going to enable this. And you should see enable preview builds. So we're going to click apply and OK for that one there. That's now enabled. Now, if you're a Windows 10 home user, you will need to go into the registry and add that key in. So let me go here and type reg edit and open up the registry editor and say yes, the user account control here. So we've got our registry editor open. And we're going to go to H key local machine software, open this one up and then come down. We're going to go right here to where it says Microsoft. And then we want to come all the way down here. So pull this down and we're looking for Windows uh, self host. You should see it here somewhere. Let me just try and find it. Uh, it's somewhere here. There we go. Windows self host. Open this up. And what we want to do is go into. So click on applicability and then right click on the right hand pane and go new. D word 32 bit value in here. We need to give it a name and that name needs to be enable preview builds just as it was in group policy editor. So put enable preview builds. And then once that's done, we can double click on this here and make sure we have a value of one click. Okay. And now we need to go back a bit. So I'm just going to close these off here and go back to the main beginning here. Inside here, what we're going to do is H key local machine. And then we're going to go to software. Come down until you see policies. Then Microsoft, open this up here. And then we're looking for Windows. Open this one up. And then we're going to come down to where it says a uh, data uh, collection here. In data collection, right click and go new. And then inside here, we're going to go key. We need to give this a name. So we're going to give this a name to preview and then build or builds. There we go. And inside there, we're going to right click and go new. 
GWORD 32-bit value. And then we need to give this a name. So let's give this a name. Allow build preview. There we go. And then we can double click on this. And we can give this a name of one and click OK. OK, so that is the part of registry done here. And we can close this off here and close the registry off. OK, so next, once you've done that, restart the PC. And when we restart the PC, go into the Windows inside the program and click Get Started. And you should now be able to join up uh, your account with the Windows Insider program. Just make sure that you've logged into your Microsoft account on Microsoft's website and make sure you've done all of those steps and you've registered an account with them and you should be good to go and you should be able to uh, log in uh, to the Insider program and download Windows 11. Anyway, I hope this has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.